One of the biggest decisions you'll ever make in Lords of the Fallen before you even play is which of the 10 different classes you're going to be playing as. Of course, each of them are going to be ranging from the different starting stats, but that is only going to be for probably a few hours. It's very necessary that you actually know what exactly you're getting yourself into. If you like to be a warrior or a mage, I'm going to be letting you know exactly everything that you need to know about all the different 10 classes that you're going to be able to choose as a starting gear he's going to be focusing on the axe a bow it also comes with an oak arrows poison arrows and a light shield medium armor as you are able to see right here all the different type of weapons that he's going to be using focusing more on strength agility and also endurance and vitality even though Though the best positioning with him it will be shooting arrows from far apart and then eventually moving forward trying to defeat the different type of bosses and the next one is going to be the Kungdam class. If you are up for a very good challenge, then probably this one will be good for you. It does come with the following stats, which are going to be Strength for 9, Agility 9, Endurance, Vitality, and Radiant, and Inferno is going to be 9. If you feel like you can master this right away and you're up for that challenge, then choose this class. The class itself, it does come with a twist though. If you love to push enemies off the ledge or kicking them with a diving kick, then this one probably be the class for you. The Hollow Knight will focus more on strength and vitality, meaning that you will be able to wield heavier weapons and you will be able to deal a tremendous amount of damage. As you are seeing here, the stats will focus more on endurance and vitality being your one to punch because you're going to be facing the bosses at a very close range. Starting weapons are going to be the Crusader Greatsword, Crusader Heavy Armor, and also a, and a Rosary Catalyst. But, but one of the most amazing things about this class is going to be the Radiant Magic that he's going to be able to use. One of the advantages that this class is going to have over all the different type of classes is going to be the way it's going to use the Radiance Magic. It's going to have an advanced feature that is going to be able to use those spells a lot better. The Excel Stalker is more of an advanced class. This one, it comes with a two daggers, medium stalker armor, throwing dagger, and also poison salt. With this class, you're going to be able to do a bunch of combos at one time. But this does have a negative effect that if you are not able to land all those different type of combos, then you're also opening up yourself to be inflicted by the different type of bosses that you're going to fight. So it's very important that you master all these classes. This class will focus more on agility because you're going to be able to move fast and with the two different type of daggers that it comes with in the light armor, you definitely are going to be moving a lot faster than any other class, but it, it is an advanced class. So you need to be careful on how do you use it. And if you don't have a master, then you will suffer the damage from the different type of bosses the hollow knight is a well-rounded class that you're going to be able to use it does come with a short sword night shield heavy armor grenades healing over time consumables so if you want to have fun and you want a class that you're going to be able to deal damage and also at the same time take some damage then probably this will be your class to use it does focus on endurance and vitality so that means you're going to be off the gate really strong you're going to have enough health and endurance to be able to fight a lot of bosses really early in the game. The Mornstead Infantry class is the time where you're gonna be able to use a spear on the shoulder and with a small shield. It's going to help you to poke a different type of enemies that you're facing and it's also the common type medieval warrior that's going to be able to help you get through different type of levels. This class focuses on spear, a light shield, heavy web, throwing javelins, and also is going to be able to heal over time with the different consumables that it takes. 
as you guys are able to see here right in the stats this one will focus more on agility and also strength and endurance giving you the different type of stats that are going to help you survive through the beginning and eventually you're going to be able to form your different type of class the orion preacher is a class of its own is going to be focusing on radiance and that's going to be the number one priority within this class not only does it boost your damage of the radiant spells but it also increases your mana we'll be talking about what mana means in in lords of the fallen so radiance is going to be your number one focus on stats because it's going not only going to help you with your spells but also all the different type of spell castings and also the buffs that you need when facing other enemies As you're seeing here in the stats it will focus on radiance of being your number one but strength agility and endurance and vitality are going to be lower learning how to use this advanced class will help you a lot in the beginning only if you know how to use it if you don't i will probably encourage you to pick a different class the partisan classes focuses a lot on strength agility endurance and vitality so focusing on that early in the game is going to help you a lot this class is good for defense and also increases the agility when you're trying to fight different bosses the pirate cultist class is your pyromancer class that you are going to probably want to use it's the perfect class in lords of the fallen because it will focus a lot on inferno it's as you guys are able to see here with the starting class it has 18 points to inferno and also to endurance has 11. inferno is the other type of spells that you're going to be able to use in this class now this is an advanced class because your focus is more on inferno than anything else it comes with a cultist staff full arm rogar catalyst the inferno orb spell medium armor and also a small mana stone consumable and our last class is going to be the udi ranger war wolf this is your barbarian type of class no shields it's all about weapons good thing about this class it does have throwing axes so you're able to throw those at any time that you want which is pretty fulfilling knowing that you have that in your arsenal now one of the things that you could probably focus on on this class is going to be strength and also endurance because you're going to be wielding that long sword that comes with and also another thing that comes with is throwing axes medium armor and fire salt it all depends on what class you want to start on in lords of the fallen because eventually within a couple of hours you're going to be able to modify the class that you're able to get now do have in mind that each of the classes at right up from the beginning do provide us some type of advantage thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn notifications for all for more lords of the fallen